president when I teach here. Am I allowed to speak? Yes. Um, my name is Rob, and I, uh, I'm from the People's Republic of Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, I've been a quiet observer of this drama for about 13 years. Um, and uh, it's interesting that people are reacting to this graph and this survey. I'm thinking mainly about the graph that we looked at last time. Um, and I thought, being a science teacher and an, an educator in general, I looked at this graph and I thought, well, maybe the science department is the only department doing it right in the high school. Um, and what I know about teaching science is that to teach science well, you have to first identify and eliminate student misconceptions. And we know that these misconceptions are commonly held, they're deeply rooted, they form very early in life, they're persistent. Uh, here are some examples. Uh, gravity doesn't exist in space. Toilets in the southern hemisphere flush counterclockwise. If you swallow a watermelon seed, a watermelon will grow in your stomach. If you don't wait an hour after eating before swimming, you could get a cramp and die. Teachers have summers off. <laughs> Eighth and ninth graders are not capable of complex abstract thought. Feelings are truth. The philosophy of instruction in the high school is called whiteboarding. It isn't, it's called modeling. And the high school teachers did it first. And now the rest of the country is catching up. And physics first is doing a disservice to our students. Another misconception. Now I recognize there may be problems. <clears throat> I suspect that these problems could be addressed regionally. In the, in the land of physics, there, there is nowhere where misconceptions are more nasty and insidious. But there are people wandering the earth in this country today who have the same contextual physics misunderstanding as believing in Bigfoot in the lost city of Atlantis. And droves of people wandering this country that legitimately don't understand physics. If you perceive the world this way, then the world is this way. One fourth of my students believe that life has been discovered beyond Earth. This is alarming. And like any other educator, even in this district, I'm concerned, as I always have been, with my students' ability, basically, to reason. So I think about this graph that has triggered so much community reaction. When was the survey given? Does anyone know? English. December. Yeah. How many students, <laughs> how many stu uh, students took the survey? 65% of the 7 through 12 population. 65%. Where are the other 35%? Maybe they're off doing science. <laughs> Where was the survey administered? Why is it a line graph? What's on the y-axis? And against what metric is the physics first deemed a failure? What metric? And I don't mean feelings, which are valid. Maybe it's the high school science instructors that are ahead of the curve in their instructional methods. And we need to pay attention to them. My experience in high school physics was my teacher, Mr. Nichols, was teacher of the year. We sat in rows and he did problem after problem on the chalkboard and we wrote it down and we handed in our homework and we got it back and I got an A and I thought I learned physics. And then I took a modeling course in college and it was messy and it was sloppy and I experienced anxiety and it was not a good experience. And then I became a physics teacher. And guess what I learned more from? And I had the unique experience of having both of those experiences and then becoming a teacher and having to draw on knowledge from both. I didn't learn anything from Mr. Nichols other than how to write down problems and plug in numbers and put units on my numbers. So here's another question. I teach eighth grade. If students aren't prepared for ninth grade physics, why not scrutinize science preparation in eighth grade? Why not look there? Why don't community members line up to complain about the easy classes? And why is it that some of our students are struggling significantly on what most would consider to be a rather straightforward math placement test? 
Some other questions. Does the community know that the physics 9 grade distributions mirror those of grade 9 math grades? Because this is true. Does the community know that the physics 9 FCI scores are off the charts? The FCI is the standard national assessment for measuring physics progress. Off the charts. Thank you. In closing, <laughs> I agree that many students may not have an aptitude for science, but I would like students in my classroom to have an aptitude for reasoning. And the board needs to consider some things that the eighth grade teachers are experiencing. Eighth grade teachers make recommendations. Community members often disregard those recommendations, level up, and then complain about how difficult the program is. So here's a reminder of what we share when we value science education. We value truth, and without truth, we don't have trust. Without trust, we don't have rule of law, and without rule of law, we don't have democracy. We have no evidence that Physics First is doing our students a disservice. The evidence, I believe, is quite the opposite. Thanks for listening.